le président du Niger et autres personnalités qui sont là au nom de la fraternité et la solidarité africaine. Soyez les bienvenus, le ballon d'or, le seul ballon d'or africain. Thank you very much. Next to be sworn in is the exalted office of His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I once again crave the indulgence of the Commander Gas Brigade to please invite His Excellency, the 16th President-elect, Bola Ametimu, GCFR, to the saluting days for the swearing-in of oath of office. And he's been accompanied by Excellence! his... Invité distingué, mesdames et messieurs, c'est un moment historique pour le Nigeria. J'invite respectueusement le commandant de la brigade des gardes d'inviter le président élu de la République fédérale du Nigeria, son excellence, voilà, Ahmed Tinubu, accompagné par sa belle femme, madame Olula Tinubu, pour la prestation du serment. Excellence, vous avez la parole. Merci beaucoup, madame. Bonne and be through allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria that as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria I will discharge my duties and perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability and faithfully in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, that I will abide by the Code of Conduct containing the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions. That I will preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, help me go. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, President Obola Ahmed Tinubu, as he takes his oath of office and sign the dotted lines, confirming him as the new President of the Federal yeah, Republic yeah, of yeah. Nigeria. Thank you. C'est le moment historique. Maintenant, la prestation du serment par son excellence, le président de la Nigeria, son excellence Bola Ahmed Tinubu, qui maintenant prête le serment. Maintenant, c'est la signature. Why the president is signing? Just like her predecessor, we heartily welcome the 16th First Lady Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency, Senator Mrs. Oluremi Tinubu, wife of the, of the 16th President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, 
and Educationist Administrator and Philanthropist Oluremi Tinobo as First Lady of Lagos State established the New Era Foundation dedicated to establishing centers for all round development of young ones and promote public awareness on environmental health and community service. Oluremi Tinobo has executed a lot of philanthropical acts to alleviate the plight of indigent persons and most importantly, she has touched the lives of girls and women in her constituency. In recognition of her achievements and contribution to societal upliftment, Senator Oluremi Tinobo has been honored severally, both locally and internationally. Among these are the National Award of the Officer of the Order of the Niger, Ghana Noble International Award of Leadership, Gambia Diamond Award for immense contribution to the emancipation of people from poverty, many citations and chieftaincy titles. In appreciation of her contribution as a role model, the West African Women Association named the Olure Maintainable Women Training Center in Gorom, Senegal after her. From First Lady Lagos State to Senator, and today the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You are heartily welcome on board. Mesdames et Messieurs, voici le moment. Eagle Square a éclaté. Nous avons applaudi avec la prestation de serment au président du Nigeria, Son Excellence. President Bola Ahmed Tunibu, Le Jagaban. Madame Oluremi Tunibu, elle est l'administrateur philanthrope. Elle est née le 21 septembre 1960. Madame Tunibu a fait ses études supérieures à l'université de après lequel elle a la gauche. Elle a posé sa candidature aux élections. Elle est devenue membre député depuis le 28 mars 2015. Madame, tenez-vous en reconnaissance de ses réalisations et réalisation de ses contributions à l'amélioration de la société. Elle a été honorée plusieurs fois localement et internationalement. Actuellement, elle est la sixième présidente du Nigeria. Félicitations, membres de députés, Oluremi, Tunivou, la nouvelle première dame du Nigeria. Merci beaucoup. applause for the president of the federal republic of nigeria his excellency bola ahmed tinubu grand commander of the order of the federal republic of nigeria your excellency congratulations once again excellence monsieur le président félicitations au président du 16e du nigeria son excellence président bola ahmed tinubu Félicitations, félicitations, Excellence. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the swearing in, what we shall be witnessing next is the lowering of the national and defense flags, which may interest all our dignitaries to know that at the end of every dispensation, the national and defense flags are being lowered, which signifies the end of a dispensation. A new national and defense flag are being received from His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to be hoisted back on the poles, signifying the commencement of a new dispensation. We shall be witnessing that shortly. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, taking you back to the happenings on the parade ground, to the far right of the parade, 
We can see the color bearers who would be participating in the lowering and hosting of the new national and defense flag and be, uh, being accompanied this morning by the regimental sergeant major gas brigade Nigerian Army Master Warrant Officer Aliu Umar. The flag bearers are Corporal Kalu Chigozi of the Nigerian Army, Abel Seaman Etimua Emmanuel of the Nigerian Navy, Sergeant Kanu Samson of the Nigerian Army, and Sergeant Undoma Patrick of the Nigerian Air Force. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know that this highly regimented aspect of the occasion is usually observed during transition of power, as we witness. Distinguished guests, ladies and Mesdames et Messieurs, l'activité que nous tuons et que nous témoignons à côté de des de salutations et l'abaissement des drapeaux. Il y a deux drapeaux, si vous voyez bien. Il y a le drapeau de la Défense et le drapeau national. L'abaissement des drapeaux signifie la nouvelle ère et le nouveau drapeau, le nouveau ère dans la dispensation de la justice au Nigeria. Et voici ce que nous allons témoigner. Cela, les activités sont faites par deux soldats de marine nationale et de l'armée de terre. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please may we all rise while officers and warrant officers in place. Mesdames you. et messieurs, les officiers en uniforme et les sous-officiers doivent saluer. C'est une activité très militaire qui signifie la force des officiers doivent saluer. C'est une activité très militaire qui signifie la passation du entre l'ancien président Mamadou Bouhari et le nouveau président Bola Ahmed Tudibou. C'est une activité pour la force armée nigériane qui va signifier le changement de drapeau entre autres. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. That was the lowering of the national and defense flag done by Corporal Kalu Chigozi of the Nigerian Army and Abu Seman Etimua Emmanuel of the Nigerian Navy, signifying the end of a dispensation in the political arena of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And at the end of the, of the national and defense flags, 
they would now proceed to fold the flag before handing them over to the regimental sergeant major gas brigade who will in turn proceed to hand it over to the commander gas brigade brigadier general am umar after which he will also proceed to hand it over to the chief of defense staff general Loki rabo cfr who would be finally handing it over to the immediate past president of the federal republic of nigeria his excellency muhammad buhari signifying the end of his administration. We shall be witnessing that shortly. Ce que se passe, mesdames et messieurs, est le pillage des deux drapeaux, le drapeau national et le drapeau de la défense. Et comme j'ai dit, vous verrez les deux officiers qui sont au terrain de parade. Il y a le commandant de brigade de garde, le général de brigade A.M. Oumar, qui va recevoir les deux anciens drapeaux et les deux, les deux nouveaux drapeaux. Il le passera au chef de corps de la défense, le général Loki Irabo. Et Irabo passera les deux drapeaux au président du Nigeria, le président Bola Ahmed Tinibu. C'est ça qui signifie le début d'une nouvelle ère de la disposition et de la gouvernance au Nigeria. C'est une activité très militaire et indication qui indique la passation du pouvoir. Voilà pourquoi nous sommes ici ce matin. Merci beaucoup. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing at the moment is the folding of the national and defense flags, and they are being done by Copra Kaluchi Gose of the Nigerian Army, Abel Seaman Etimua Emmanuel of the Nigerian Navy, Sergeant Samson Kanu of the Nigerian Army, and Sergeant Ndoma Patrick of the Nigeria Air Force can see them paying compliment after folding the flag as the flag bearers turn about and march smartly towards the regimental sergeant major guards brigade master warrant officer Aliu Umar who is carrying a case as he pays compliments and opens the case you can see first the defense flag is being placed and the old national flag is also being placed in the case carried by the regimental sergeant major gas brigade the pay compliment as he turns to his right marching smartly towards the commander gas brigade brigadier general am umar He comes to a halt as the commander pays compliment. He takes a step forward and hands over the case flag to the commander gas brigade as he takes his steps backward, paying compliment. And the commander turns to his right. Rachel! Marching towards the chief of defense staff, General Loki Irabo, CFR, who pays compliment before receiving the case flag from the commander. Show! Le général de corps de brigade Merci. vient de passer le drapeau, le drapeau national et le drapeau de la défense. Son Excellence, le général Irabo marche majestueusement vers le président. Il passera le drapeau à l'ancien président Bouhari et M. Bouhari passera le drapeau au nouveau président Ola Ahmed Tunibou. You can see the chief of defense staff handing over the old national and defense flag to the immediate past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, signifying the end of his administration as a new national and defense flag. Okay. 
voilà. will be given Thank you very much. once again to the Chief of Defense Staff. Thank you. You can see the new case flag, the voilà. new case national and defense flag being presented voilà, to Monsieur the Boire, très bien. new president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Excellency. Ouais. President Bola Metinubu, who ça. will in turn present the new national and defense flag to the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Rabo, ouais. CFR, voilà. as he turns about Le président Ola Ametinubu a passé le drapeau au chef de corps le général Irabo. Irabo passera le drapeau au commandant des gardes et brigades et nous aurons l'usage de ces deux drapeaux dans quelques minutes. C'est la passation du pouvoir. Merci beaucoup. We can see the Chief of Defense Staff handing over the case flag to the Commander Gas Brigade who turns about and proceeds to hand it over to the Regimental Sergeant Major Gas Brigade Nigerian Army Master Warrant Officer Aliu Umar as he pays compliment and receive the case flag from the Commander Gas Brigade, Brigadier General A.M. Umar, who pays compliment as the Regimental Sergeant Major turns about carrying the brand new Case National and Defense Flags to hand it over to the flag bearers as they pay compliments. He opens the Case Flag and first to be retrieved is the new national flag by Sergeant Undoma Patrick of the Nigeria Air Force and the new defense flag by Sergeant Kanu Samson of the Nigerian Army. He pays compliments as they turn about and proceed to hand them over to Corporal Kanu Chigosi of the Nigerian Navy. Compliment being paid there once again as they take a step forward to receive the brand new national and defense flags. Compliment being paid as they turn about and proceed to the polls for the hosting of the national and defense flags respectively signifying the beginning of a new administration of the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the federal republic of nigeria his excellency president obola ahmed tinubu gcfr mesdames et messieurs vous témoignez maintenant L'issage du drapeau national et du drapeau de la défense, ce qui signifie le commencement de la nouvelle L'issage
very interesting pictures you're seeing there, aren't they, uh, of activities happening right now live at Eagle Square in Abuja. It's official, as you would have seen on our Twitter thread. Uh, the, pre the government of the Buhari administration is over. We have a new president now in the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That picture you're seeing, of course, is one of those rare moments where uh, the Nigerian flag is being hoisted all across. And these new flags also have been hoisted, as we have seen in the official demonstration that has happened earlier uh, as uh, the events unfold. We apologize for the audio. We are working on it. We definitely will ensure that uh, we'll do it better. Okay, now, so these images are saying that indeed and indeed we have a new president right there, right now, in Abuja. Indeed. And what was very instructive for me was at that moment, we had a new president and then an immediate past president, just about 20, 30. We request the chief of defense staff, General. Crave the indulgence of the commander as brigade to usher the immediate past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to take his seat. The commander, sir. Well, there you see the symbolic handshake uh, between now outgone President Mohamed Buhari and Nigeria's new president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I mean, it's understandable that at this venue you'll have lots of jammers, you mm. know, jamming signals, satellite signals. So, uh, you know, hearing the audio back and forth is testament uh, to that one. But it's something we're working on. But there you see live images, a historic moment for Nigeria as a nation. President Buhari about to get into, well, former President Buhari, that might get some, <laughs> might take some getting get get used, used to. to really. <laughs> now about to get into the SUV. Uh, of course, the SUV has been stripped of the official, you know, plates and all of that. You see people waving, waving. at Muhammad Buhari. Now citizen Muhammad Buhari. Citizen. Just like Muhammad. every other Nigerian. And I think once you get into that spray, you seem to get into the statesman's club, right? Yes. Yeah. And he doesn't lose the title fully. He remains former president, Muhammad Buhari. And, you know, Kadi was talking about emotions earlier on. I, for one, also imagine that it was it must have been a tumble of emotions between the outgoing president at that moment and the new president, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you know, both of them bearing huge similarities in their trajectories as they, you know, rode to power. The former president contesting three times and uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu himself having to have, you know, seemingly sacrificed his ambition back then in 2015 mm -hmm. before coming back, you know, uh, in 2022 to clinch the ticket, uh, you know, amid some difficulty, you mm -hmm. know, even with a repeat of that Muslim Muslim ticket, which didn't go down without some controversy, but which we're now seeing playing out as he has now realized what he described as, as his mm -hmm. lifelong ambition mm -hmm. of becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If you go to our Twitter, Twitter thread, you will find the order of um, events, and this is one of those things mm -hmm. you find now. W what is interesting is that as soon as the handover is done, former president uh, Buhari leaves for Namdi Azikiwe International Airport en route Katsina using a different car from the one that brought him to the venue, mm -hmm. and he takes off for Katsina with 001 for the last For the time. last time. <laughs> and, you know, he's always talked about how he longed to return, you know, uh, to Kassila, to Dora, his hometown. So that's and, the man in charge now. Yeah. 
and That's he's uh, going to take that right. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, you know it rained in the early hours of today, and there was that concern as to whether this would happen. And there you go, President mm -hmm. Bola Tinubu, yeah, with that yeah, iconic yeah, yeah. wave. Uh, live images from the Eagle Square, Abuja. Mm. There you see, with the iconic cap and the logo uh, that he's always used, the green cap, the yeah, white significant logo. with uh, today's inauguration, Indeed, the Nigerian national colors. Flag. There you go, with that symbolic presidential wave. History clearly in the making. Mm. And a lot of people always wonder what will be going through the mind of. Nigeria's new president, what is he seeing? Is he seeing the enormous challenge ahead of him? Is he seeing what exactly is going through his mind? That's the question. That's a million dollar question right there. But indisputably, but it will be a moment of fulfillment for mm -hmm. him. He's always um, longed for this, he's always wanted this. On the one hand. But Nigerians hope that unlike, um, you know, what the former president longed for, that there would be evidence of renewed hope in this um, administration, you know, not just longing for it, but, you know, being able to fulfill the aspirations, the collective aspirations of Nigerians. Did I hear former president again? But yeah. <laughs> yes, God, you are right. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Well, you know, there are those who say that uh, this new president is one of the most prepared uh, presidents, one of the few we had who actually prepared to to be president of the country and it's not just a ceremony i think it definitely okay so let's go back and listen to audio from eagle square in abuja his excellency bola ametinubu was headhunted for both international and local companies including mobile nigeria where he held important positions like senior auditor and company treasurer. He left the company to embark upon his political determination, commitment, vision, focus, and a strong sense of purpose that have characterized Balatinibu's politics, drove his emergence as one of the country's most successful governors after Nigeria's return to democratic governance 23 years ago. The stewardship of Lagos states between 1999 and 2007 remains a reference for good governance in Nigeria and across the region. Among the most consequential and impressive of his achievements as the governor of Lagos was his revolution of the state's environmental policies and the creation of thousands of jobs for Lagosians through the private sector partnership program he established. Other important achievements while governor of Lagos include education reforms under which now thriving mission schools were returned to their original owners after decades of government control. Free education and West African Examination Council forms for school leavers giving underprivileged children access to further education more career opportunities and better life prospects. Civil service reforms, which led directly to the introduction of a more responsive and expert-led civil service in Lagos. Judicial reforms and the Lagos Master Plan Blueprint, which has been and continues to be followed with great success by all subsequent governors of Lagos. Also worthy of mention is that as a first-class financial strategist, his Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu overhauled and reformed government and revenue collection in the state, taking Lagos from a yearly internally generated revenue of 14.64 billion naira in 1999 to 60.31 billion naira in 2006. His innovations laid the groundwork necessary for Lagos to have the revenue to improve the state's and modernized living condition of all of its inhabitants. A graceful leader imbued with courage and commitment to justice. Bola Tinobu combines practical, political acumen, strategic vision, and moral principle. When the history of the first two decades of the 21st century in Nigeria is written, it will record Bola Tinobu's rare courage and foresight in guiding his party, the All Progressive Congress, to victory in 2015, 
and how working with other persons, he abolished the determined efforts of the then ruling party to turn Nigeria into a one party. much as he understands the game of power. Indeed, his democratic footprints go beyond Nigeria. They span the continent, especially in the immediate West African sub-region, where he has contributed personal resources, advice, and support to help sustain democracy and popular participation in many of the region's emergent democracies. His Excellency Bola Tenebo has served the cause of humanity and expanded the frontiers of freedom and democracy in Nigeria and the African continent. He is one of the Nigerians' foremost nationalists and champions of federalism. As one of the few leaders and champions of democracy with the potential and experience to improve the fortunes of his people, Bola Tenebo is the very best man and today, the 16th president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is happily married to his lovely wife, the 16th first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency Senator Mrs. Oluremi Tinubu, and the union is blessed with amazing children. Mesdames et Messieurs, Son Excellence, le 16e président de la République fédérale du Nigeria et commandant en chef des forces armées du Nigeria, DCFR, est né le 29 mars 1952. Il a été deux fois le gouverneur d'État de Lagos pendant laquelle il a fait des réformes durables dans les domaines pédagogiques, financiers, judiciaires et la création des emplois. Son Excellence a eu sa licence en l'administration des affaires, comptabilité et la gestion à l'Université de Chicago, Illinois, aux États-Unis. Il a aussi travaillé comme l'unité supérieure à Mobile. Il va continuer avec les délibérations militairement. Oui. Thank bon you. Capitaine. That was the citation on uh, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. May I now hand over to my co compere Captain Anebi Ababa, to continue with the remaining three. Thank you very much, Flight Lieutenant. First to say, Mrs. Olubumi Badejo and Mr. Mohamed yeah. Tijani for the wonderful citation of the special guest of honor on this auspicious occasion. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the inspection, we shall witness shortly the parade commander seeking permission to continue with the rest of the parade. May I have your permission? to carry on with the rest of the parade, Your Excellency. Presidential permission has been sought there and graciously granted by His Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor and the Reviewing Officer for today's historic occasion. We can see the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Salim Yusuf Hassan, riding on a white horse named GMB to take his position to commence the match pass. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please happy view.
Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. There's still an event unfolding here at the Eagle Square, where activity is climaxing. The presidential operation is swearing in ceremony on the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His Excellency, President Obama, Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR. Witness the world war. Parade commander giving orders for the guards to form three ranks and commence the match pass. What you are witnessing now are the guards forming squad without changing formation. Before forming an extended line formation by the guards towards the seventeen decks, led by the whole party. The essence is for the guards to pay their respect to the special guest of honor who has taken his position on the saluting days, and also for the reviewing officer to take a close look at the turnout of the guards who are impeccably dressed at close range. Before presenting arms to the special guest of honor, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it will also interest you to know that the far pass towards the saluting days and the forming squads by the guards is another display of silent dream as the guards are only reacting to the initial words of command given by the parade commander before the commencement of the march pass. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please happy viewing. Leadership director, VP African, qui nous a honoré avec leur présence. Mesdames et messieurs, ce que nous voyons, ce que nous voyons maintenant actuellement, c'est le membre de la force armée nigériane. Les escorts des drapeaux, des réduits, ils marchent vers le nuage de salutation afin de montrer et justifier la loyauté de la force armée nigériale au président, son excellence. Il marche majestueusement, calmement, avec la dignité, courage, la fierté qui sont les qualités de l'armée dans le monde. Vraiment calédoscopique, plein de couleurs qui signifie une nouvelle ère de la dispensation, nouvelle dispensation au Nigeria. Mon commandant, mon capitaine Abouba, je passe la parole à vous. Senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, what you are watching at the moment are the guards forming squad to the right and left of the parade ground, preparatory for the presenting of the commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the left half of the saluting days, we have the number one, two, and three guards provided by the Nigerian Army. And to the right half of the saluting days, we have the number four guard provided by the Nigerian Navy. Navy color and the Air Force color being carried by commissioned officers known as ensigns to the colors. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, witnessed a while ago the various guards paying compliments, all to show their honor and loyalty to the Special guest of honor. After paying compliments, we are now retreating back 
Mesdames et Messieurs, comme vous voyez, il y a six gardes comparables ce matin. Nous avons le deux premier garde composé de l'armée de la quatrième garde est composé, est composé de la marine nationale. La cinquième garde est composé de l'armée de l'air nigériane. Et nous avons aussi la sixième garde composée de, et par la police nationale. Le président s'approche. Ouais, Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we sit back and enjoy this beautiful parade by these amazing officers and men, permit me to acquaint you with the significance of the one God salute, which is part of our activities like all for today's celebration. The Tituan God Salute is a military tradition used to accord respect or honor to dignitaries. Generally, saluting is done using hand, sword, colors, small arms, and firing of artillery guns. Salute by gunfire is an ancient ceremony which originated in the 17th century and involves the use of artillery guns to fire ammunition, usually blanks to welcome important dignitaries or commemorate an anniversary. Traditionally, one salutes are presented to honor or welcome a foreign president or head of state on a state visit. It is also used to cover real days, marking on public holidays and independence anniversary celebrations. Others include Ascension Day, State Funeral of the Late President, and Independence Day. In Nigeria, one salute is provided during our first members' day celebrations, inauguration parades, independence anniversary, and in honor of visiting presidents. Today, we shall be witnessing the firing of the two salute to signify the great respect and unflinching loyalty that the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigerian Police have for the exalted offense and the personnage of His Excellency, the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. On that note, that I request our distinguished guests not to pass. Well, the images you're seeing right there, um, of course, the Eagle Square uh, is right there. But then that insert picture, that little box that you're seeing right there on the screen as well, is that of the now outgone president, Muhammad Buhari, and his family uh, heading towards uh, Daura Abdelmutala. Beg your pardon. Namdiazikiro International Airport right there in Abuja, uh, heading towards the aircraft to uh, finally go to Daura as the president. Uh, what the former president had often said over and over again. Most certainly, I wonder the kind of emotions, not just for the president, but his wife, his children as well. The entire first family. Mm -hmm. and first power is transit. As I said, he came into that arena this morning as the president. Now he's former president just like that. I know that the current president says that they will, he will seek advice, come knock on his door and all of that. But president, the former president has been quite clear about what he will be doing after his time in office. He said it time and again that he, he couldn't just wait uh, to go back to his farming, to his you know, livestock, livestock and all of that. And I know for a lot of Nigerians, this might be an emotional moment as well. You know, looking back at the past eight years, the promises made and the deliveries, the reality on the ground. 
it's going to be definitely, it's going to take a lot of retrospection for Nigerians and I imagine for the former president himself. But those are live images from Renan Biaziko International Airport in the nation's capital, Abuja. Former president, Muhammad Buhari, citizen Buhari, as uh, <laughs> I'm calling him now, no. <laughs> departing or about to depart to Dora with his family. Well, convenient not to topple uh, as we are you know, doing on that title president. So we have we get used to the new reality that we now have a new president who is uh, President Bola Metsinubu. But it's been a you know, mix of emotions right here as we watch the initial parade, uh, the handover of the flag, the national flag and the defense flag from the former president to the new president. And, you know, the parade, the splash of colors, the array of uh, white on green of the men of the armed forces as they paraded. And we've heard the voice of the president, you know, acknowledging the armed forces as he, he inspected uh, the parade, uh, the, the guard, you know, the combination of the armed forces. It's a beautiful ceremony, but much more important, you know, is what lies ahead yeah. of the incoming president. Uh, Nigerians are expecting you know, governance in equal measure of aesthetics. It's a, it's a tall order, yes. you know, very demanding. Yes. But if that's the job he signed up for. Yeah. And he says, look, don't pity me. So Nigerians are not, they're waiting for immediate results. But the question is, how soon will the results start coming in? You have the answer, and just give it to us right there on Twitter. But, <laughs> you know, in that instead, you still see that the uh, former president still has a couple of people around him. Oh, sorry, and that's what some of the people in power will tell you, that the moment they're out of power, in you know, all of the knocks on your doors, the people waiting to see you, all of those, you know, if people lined up, it usually reduces, and there's always yeah. that silence. So, you know, that proverbial, the phone stopped ringing. Stopped ringing. <laughs> yes, he still has a couple of people, uh, you know, saying goodbye to him. I imagine some of his staff, and there you see, uh, approaching the aircraft and uh, walking yeah. in. So, well, our correspondent, uh, Emperor Simon, is there, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, have a word or two with him when the time is right. But then oh, don't forget that the big screen still shows you the big event. The, the big event. <laughs> you know, um, the, the picture you are giving you from the Nazik, uh, Nabia Zikri International Airport is no less significant. But just so you know, as Kaudi said, Paris turns. Um, you are a human being, but you occupy a position at any given point in time, and who knows for how long. And then goes former President Muhammad Buhari into that aircraft. Uh, well, I, I'd just like to mention that the bigger screen, it looks like the camera is trying to go into the skies as well. So still follow. But what, you, off ahead, you know, what you've seen on the big screen, there's still a lot to expect from the Eagle Square, actually. This is yeah. a march pass in slow and quick time. Powerful display, honestly. It's always beautiful to watch. I mean, look at that. All marching in synchronization. It's, it's just beautiful seeing the, the work that has gone into this, by the way. Lots mm -hmm. of man hours of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And you have to get everything right. Everything has to be perfect. Precise. Excellent. Precise. And yeah. that's what a lot of Nigerians will be expecting from the government. Mm -hmm. I think so. This is a typology of the expectations of Nigeria. All of your you know, decisions, the activities mm -hmm. of the government has to be mm -hmm. top notch, excellent in synchronization from the president's decisions to his cabinet to the National Assembly. People have invested uh, you know, their votes in them, so they expect not less excellent. So after that, we'll still look forward to the big one, mm -hmm. uh, the CNC speech. Now as a commander in chief of armed forces. So as that's, uh, you can of see, the, the, the first lady, uh, oh, yes. former. First lady, we say now. <laughs> well, speaking of speeches, you know, uh, Nigerians continued to put the former president to task on that very significant line from his first speech, uh, I belong to everyone and I belong to no one. So Nigerians were also going to be holding, looking forward to, you know, the significant promises, the significant lines, you know, the paradoxes, if any, of the speech that we're about to hear from the incoming president and the hope that well, we'll be hoping that, that the, the income. <laughs> <laughs> it takes some getting used to the new president. And they're going to be, you know, holding him by his words, you know, in the coming four years. So we're looking yeah. forward to that inaugural speech. Most certainly. Um, it, it, 
then but don't, don't for, also forget the inset. Uh, hopefully, we'll also show images of um, the see, former, former vice president. Vice president. Oh dear God. Um, former vice president uh, will also be uh, coming in anytime soon to, for his own journey home as well. And of course, uh, so you can see the parade is still quite functional, quite active. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were talking to talking about the immense work that has gone into this. Guys, you know, when we talk about working for Nigeria, making Nigeria better, the littlest things matter. Kadi, you talked about the man hours that went into this parade. They, someone composed songs that have been played. That is service to nation. I mean, look at the brass, mm -hmm. uh, the brass instruments. The it, ensemble. It's beautiful, the ensemble, the orchestra. They are playing in unison. Exactly. And I think, again, it's, it's what we expect from exactly. the government. Someone composed the song. So the littlest thing that you can do for the nation is can you just keep that at the top of mind? Mm -hmm. You know, the, as we say, is it in PR and advertising, top of mind awareness? Mm -hmm. Let Nigeria be so topmost on your mind that the littlest thing that you do, the wind that comes through your nostrils and through your mm -hmm. throat, is all about making Nigeria great. Well, this that each one of these fellows are doing mm -hmm. is about the greatness of Nigeria. You know, displaying I, it in front of many presidents from various parts of the world that are here. You know, Ayan, you always talk about our core values uh, and how the constitution spells it out. You know, uh, dignity, patriotism, and you know, this speaks to those core values yeah. and they stem from institutions yeah. so we must build institutions and you know it's reminiscent of our earlier conversation you know about how Nigerians need to do their part first it took a lot of commitment a lot of hard work and resilience you know for men of the armed forces to come up with this that you know would cause so let, let, let's to go back uh, to Eagle Square now Nigeria. yeah let's yeah. go back to the Eagle Square take a little a more some more listening to this and perhaps get more pictures of what is going on right now.
Usman Babasambo, riding on a horse named Umar, after the Commander Gars Brigade, Brigadier General Aminu Muhammad Umar. May I once again please request that when the color parties marches towards your sitting position, you are please expected to rise as a mark of respect to the colors. Officers and warrant officers in uniform are expected to salute. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, mon lieutenant de la Mesdames et messieurs, comme vous voyez, nous sommes toujours à qui vous souhaitez. Et toujours en avant avec uh, il est sur son cheval. Les autres officiers sont sur parade et vraiment c'est une activité kaléidoscopique et vraiment cela indique. Il annonce nouvelle ère dans la disposition du Nigeria. Mesdames et messieurs, comme vous voyez, le premier garde est commandé par le capitaine Man Issa et I mean, euh, le commandant Moussa Hamza Yakubu. La deuxième garde est commandée par euh, Major en commandant Olufumi Lola. Troisième garde est commandée, non, il y a trois, quatre membres de escorte de drapeau. Lorsqu'ils vous approchent, mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous saluer toujours les militaires qui sont en uniforme, les officiers et les sous-officiers. Les troisième garde, mesdames et messieurs, est composé de l'armée de terre. Nous avons trois gardes formés composés de l'armée de terre. La quatrième garde est composée de la marine nationale. La cinquième garde est composée de l'armée de l'air nigériane. Et la cinquième garde est composée de la police nationale. Vraiment, c'est une activité très intéressante. Très... Nous sommes ravis avec tout ce qui se passe. Vous voyez les membres de la force armée nigériane qui sont fiers, parfaitement tenus. Ils sont rigoureux, vigilants et respectueux de la hiérarchie. Mesdames et messieurs, vous serez d'accord avec nous qu'ils se conduisent avec l'humeur, courage et dignité. Ils sont toujours disponibles et disciplinés. Voici les qualités de l'armée nigériane. En quelques, en quelques minutes, ils vont changer le défilé. Au lieu de marcher lentement, ils vont marcher rapidement. Toujours pour justifier et montrer leur loyauté au président de la République, le nouveau président Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests,
Well, as you can see, um, the match was uh, slow. Huh? Slow. Now they switch gears. It's uh, quick quite time. fast now. Quick time. Um, a number of people might be remembering that song. I remember when I was a soldier. Come on, you never <laughs> were a soldier. This is representation, really, Nigerian Army, the Air Force, the Navy, and the Niger Police, actually. And mm -hmm. it's just beautiful to see the, the colors. Uh, beautiful to behold. Uh, the fact that they're all synchronized, you know, the white gloves, the, their side arms, their... The sash. The sash. The red sash. Everything just really perfect. And uh, this is a uh, quick time now. Uh, they did the slow time for quite some time. And they moved on to quick time. You still see the inset from Namdi Aziko International Airport. Former president, former uh, former first lady, actually. Uh, they were there earlier. Uh, I think we're expecting former vice president and uh, his wife as well. You know, just going to the former vice president's Twitter handle, you see things have changed. Even for the former um, mm -hmm. president as well, uh, changed. Uh, you know, the the. the the designations on it, even the profile picture, mm -hmm. you know, essentially saying, adios. It's yeah. now in the hands of President Bola Tinubu. All, and all significant Tinubu. websites yeah. have transited. Exactly. Yes. I wanted to remind you, Bola was reminding us of uh, Wikipedia updating. The president, uh, the new president's um, profile has already been updated on updated, Twitter. Updated, yes. Um, it's interesting that Twitter did this, I'm sorry, Wikipedia did it so quickly. Yeah. Someone must have been on queue. Oh, yes, it's a, big, it's a big one. I mean, this is Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. It's the largest black nation, over 200 million people. I mean, you see the heads of state present there. Beautiful aerial view, by the way. We have the presidents of South Africa, mm -hmm. the president of Rwanda, Rwanda Ghana, president of Kenya. Of Kenya, president of Liberia, and, and the rest. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of representation. And representation also, yes. Yeah, from the U.S. The and US. other countries and mm -hmm. even the Middle East. So you know how big this is, not just for... Africa, but for the world at large. I mean, we always say that Nigeria is, is a blessed nation, but indeed we are blessed. And you know that whatever happens to Nigeria or happens in Nigeria naturally affects, affects. not just the continent, but even the world the at world, large. I mean, yeah. talk about our human capacity. You've seen them right here. Yeah. This is a, a picture. I always say the, the inspector general of police, you know, and the chief of naval staff, the chief of defense, um, staff. defense and the rest, all of them saluting. And there, is the president and his vice all standing. You could see uh, the chief justice as well. Uh, very, very important man to this occasion, really. His arrival <laughs> uh, just showed a lot of people that this is real, this is happening. Without him, Cardi, there would be no, no inauguration. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that, that's actually very, very instructive. Very instructive. You know, we, we often say that okay, we run a presidential system of government. People wonder, okay, why have three layers of government when you have, uh, uh, when any one of them could have done just about anything? But no, um, the judiciary swears in the president. The president swears in the judiciary. The judiciary. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the time is right. And when the time is right, uh, I, uh, the budget which is a document, a, a legal document of the mm. Federal Republic of Nigeria, yeah. cannot become law without the National Assembly. Which, so they which, all need each other. And the, the, the executive, the president, has to uh, literally write to open the National Assembly. Assembly. You know, every term mm. without mm. that letter from the president's office, that cannot really happen. But hey, uh, this is... It's a band. It's a mixture mm. of, you know, I mean, all of the... You know, service the, man. Yeah, the service, uh, the armed forces uh, represented, and I must say, beautiful work. Uh, and it's done. a significant part of the ceremony, you know, so uh, prepared for quite some time by men of oh, the certainly. armed forces. And, yes. You know, the ceremony would be incomplete without this, you know, beautiful parade. Indeed. Yeah. And there's something a lot of people will want to see, the air display as well. Earlier on, we saw the aircraft with the Nigerian flag. That was just a I snippet. love that one. Oh, I, I really just love showing that you how you expect the Nigerian flag to be flown very high by everyone who has the cause to represent those flags. And they see really colorful. Uh, you know, and the flags coming in behind them. I mean, I can watch this for as long as possible. It's possible, really. right? <laughs> but that would be unfair to them because yeah. they've been at this for quite some time. First with a slow time, and now the it's quick easy time. to to watch it again. Just 
record. Go to the to YouTube and just no, he doesn't have to record. Off, transition, you know. play, uh, just play back on Channel exactly. TV broadcast uh, or just, just search it for it okay. you know, on Channel TV's YouTube uh, uh, page. Well, and, big day, and you really. can It's a big watch day. Watch play. Yeah. I will yes. do that much yeah. later. <laughs> this is the Eagle Square <laughs> venue <laughs> of the inauguration of the President Bola Tinubu and his vice Kashim Shetima. You're watching. Uh, what is turning out to be a really colorful event, uh, really. Even the inset mm -hmm. you're seeing is colorful with the red carpet at Namdi Ezekui yeah. International mm -hmm. Airport. So we're giving you a mix of what's going out, going on in at the Eagle Square and at Namdi Ezekui International mm -hmm. Airport. So we're winding down with the March Fast and we're going into the air display. Yes, for now. Now. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, I warmly and heartily welcome you all the aerial display segment of this ceremony. Five aircraft types from the Nigerian Air Force Inventory are performing in today's aerial display. The first aircraft was the Augusta 109, which you saw, proudly displaying the national colors during the hoisting of the national and defense flags. The crew comprised current leader Larry Azi, Flight Lieutenant Shaibu, and Areola. The helicopter operates out of 405 Helicopter Training Group, Enugu, unit commanded by Wing Commander Deji Omokunga, tasked with the conduct of advanced combat training for NAV helicopter pilots. The remaining four aircraft performing will be in the following order. 